Oh, Thanks for luck. Welcome back, my friends. Good to see you, Donal. Very good to be back. It's it potato time! It's potato time. <laughs> She's been so excited about this all morning. Thing is, Donal, when I, we sat in a meeting yesterday and we were like, we're doing potatoes with Donal, and then the Irish and we went, oh, God, this, oh, is, yeah. this is the stereotype. And then I was like, surrender to it, man. We do potatoes better than anyone else. It's so you know true. What? And, like, I think we know our potatoes. I think we know them well. We have a vari variations. I mean, you can boil a potato and turn it into a million different things yes. in Ireland. Kilcannon, Champ, there's Boxty. There's so many options. But, but today... See how many words we have for mashed potatoes. Just, yeah, yeah. I'm what so I'm impressed. I'm so honestly, the, it, the the potato is the elite vegetable. Yes. yes. But I can't believe that America has kind of taken this jacket potato moment on, on TikTok and it's, it's like taken... they've never seen it before. It's I the know. way they're just adding clumps of butter like they've reinvented it. Exactly. Exactly. You're reinventing. We're going to try you and re us. reinvent it. So we have jacket potatoes three ways. The first way is kind of an English inspired one. We've got a marmite butter. Now I have to say I never really had marmite before I came to uh, to England and oh, really? I love I love it on a crumpet with yes. a bit of butter, yeah. absolutely delicious. Nice. So we're going to make up a very simple uh, Marmite butter with a good dollop of Marmite. Uh, I know, it's pretty heavy stuff, though. Uh, you don't need that much, but a little bit... Of... Would you not have it that much in Ireland, uh, Marmite? I, I don't know. I only really came across it when I started working here. Yeah. And um, it's just one of those things that it's very kind of quintessential. I mean, look, we have Marmite in Ireland, of course, but it is very quintessential, like having it on, on, a, on a crumpet with a little bit. Or toast. Fleur, who is, who is in the hospitality here, the first time I had Marmite, she made me Marmite on toast, and it was one of the best things I've oh, ever eaten. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So you can come up here next for the uh, for the next cook, OK? <laughs> we'll organise that. So you're adding it to the butter? Adding it to the butter, and we're going to take a dollop of this beautiful Marmite butter and splodge it into a little bit of our jacket potatoes. Now, to make our perfect jacket potato, I have it three ways, but to make our perfect jacket potato, you're going to take your regular potato, something that's flowery, a King Edward, uh, Maris Piper is really good, poke it all over with a, with a nice sharp knife, and then you're going to rub it with salt and a little bit of oil. If you want it even more crispy on the outside, a little bit of water and salt is the way to go, is but it? the oil gives you that kind of moist exterior and that fluffy inside. Yeah. Really good. Is there um, a way of cooking it that's like quickly because you, they do take a, they an do age. They do take a them. while. I've I've heard pray tell of um, of it being done in a pressure cooker. Have you heard of this no. before? No. You wrap them and you put them in a pressure cooker if you want to do it really quickly. But the best ones I think are put straight onto the rack. This is how my mum used to do it in an agar in one of those kind of old ovens, uh, and you just literally bake it, leave it, almost forget about it, an hour and a half in the oven, and that'll do the job. And what, you get like these... one one eighty one one eighty? Yeah, kind of slightly like a, a, a warm hot oven is what yeah. you're after. Um, but look one. Once, you, once it comes out of the oven, you get left with these beautiful jacket things. Uh, and this is, this is the magic. I mean, this is what <gasps> the Americans are going nuts about at the moment. Once you have them at this stage, you can, as all I've done is uh, slice them over the top. And as you can see, you really want to massage them with that salt over the side so you get that kind of crispy exterior. With your sharp knife, all you're going to do is slice it in half like this and go, go your cross. But the trick to getting that perfect, like, expose is to <laughs> slice it from under, or slice it across and then push it up from underneath and then you get that reveal Whoa. of the inside. Oh, nice. Fluffy, gorgeous, all the things you want. Now, we're going to uh, take our first version. So, Marmite, cheese, really good. We've scooped out the inside. I've mashed in our beautiful Marmite butter. And all you're going to do is take up beautiful dollops of this and plop it straight into uh, the top of this. So, we, remember, we've got mash in here and yep. we've got our Marmite butter in here. So, it's, oh, a little bit of extra Marmite there. You're <laughs> going to finish them off with a bit of cheese in the oven and they are... Wow. Absolutely spectacular. Would I get very excited about this. Would that butter then melt while it's being cooked? Then, that butter it? will melt, that mm. marmite will cook through, the cheese will melt up. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, finish it off with some cheddar and then this goes straight into the oven. And you have... I had one of these while I was waiting to do this. And <laughs> it, I, genuinely... You've eaten one already? I've eaten already and they are phenomenal. So <laughs> you, have, you definitely have to try this one. Now, I've, uh, I've only got three minutes, so I'm going to rock through the next two. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got mushrooms. Really simple one. A really simple one is some garlic mushrooms. Um, I've just softened them down and then I'm adding a good dollop of creme fraiche. And once you have this garlic uh, mushroom mixture, all you're going to do is fill that. So like the beauty of, I mean, look, we're talking jack potatoes. It's comfort food. So any topping you fancy, like um, someone came into the kitchen earlier and was saying, baked beans, like just baked beans and cheese is all you need. Like Classic. we're going fancy here, but you can just keep it as simple as possible and pop them under the oven, into the oven like I've done. And you have something that's so, so good. Uh, now, so a little bit of garlic mushrooms over the top, really, really simple. And this is Love so, 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 so tasty. I've never had one on a jacket potato though, no, have you? No. Not here, let me put, let let me put some over to your plates and you can get stuck in. Oh, it grab smells one of those. gorgeous. Yeah, so, uh, oh, Janie Mac, they're falling apart, but look, that's how good they are. That's how, you know, that's how soft and, <laughs> that's how that's how and they are. Exactly, <laughs> I was massaging them too hard. You were. Here, finish them off with Caressing some more of those them. beautiful things. And, um, you know, you can have 
chives, oh, yeah. you could add parsley. Um, really, really simple. So that's two for you, very simple one. That is delicious. The finishing touch, Come finishing on. touch. Last one. Let's um, do is this. Blue cheese and a little bit of caramelised onion. So pop in your oh, blue so cheese. I, I don't know about you, but absolutely love caramelised onion and blue cheese. Mm. The combination is spectacular. And you could even go a little bit extra bacon over the top and it is Phenomenal! Yes. So, so good. Some of those rashes are really So good. nice. That actually yeah. is very quick to make. Really easy. And, like, it's up to you. The toppings are up to you. So let me grab the other place and I'll I love this that. down. Oh, thanks, Emil. Now, simple stuff. So, um, look, that'll come out of the oven. It'll only take a few minutes. Masterclass, man. Quick, quick, master masterclass. After. Come on, hang on a second. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> I love You've this only so under much. pressure. Three types of potatoes <laughs> and a mashed potato. So, we're going to talk about mashed potatoes. Quick. Take a, a cold pot of water. You've got peeled, uh, you've got peeled, beautiful potatoes all evenly. Uh, Why do you go cold rather than. Any root vegetable, first. always start cold so that it cooks evenly as it comes up to temperature. Oh. Plenty of salted water because it does take on that salt as you're cooking it out. What you should be left with is beautiful tender mash. And the top tip on getting this really good mash is to use a potato ricer. It's a bit of investment, not, not too expensive. How come? What, what does it do? It just gives you that, see that fine crumb you're seeing there? So easy. And like, if you Wait, do, is that potato? That is potato. I thought it yeah. was rice. Well, this is it, because it's yeah. potato ricer. You see what I did there? I, that's a, yeah, and now I'm following. <laughs> you're, you're going so quick. Yeah, I'm Well, there's amazing. three bleeding potatoes to get through, for God's sake. <laughs> now, OK, so once you've got it to that stage, if you use a potato masher, what I will say is you do tend to get a little bit of lumps, but this potato ricer is what really gives you that fantastic finish. Wow. Now, to bring this alive, milk, butter and cream, OK? They are my top tips. You get can't them. do too much, can you? That's the thing. Get it in there. And the beauty is that once you have that ricer, um, that texture is completely different. And you can see, just with a little bit of salt and pepper, it okay, brings it together. Come on. <gasps> Mash masterclass, three types of potatoes. What more do you want from me this morning? The Irish man is here to make the potatoes, and I hope you're happy now, OK? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been happier. Right, no, never. I need yeah, to I'll, get you, I'll get you some of this. So a little bit of white pepper, a little bit of sea salt. Always important that you season it up oh, and make it look gorgeous. Pepper. Um, I, I, people kind of sleep on white pepper. It's one of the, my favourite, favourite ones. Here, OK, we're going to go, we're going to go, so you get some dermal. The details of today's recipe, okay. let me tell you, uh, you can head straight to the This Morning app. Or Donald said he will come personally to your house and just do this whole thing in 10 I'm, minutes. I'm going to do it. <laughs> From firing out potatoes, let's do this. Good. That is, a, that this is, is so dream, nice. Thank you. Simple. And you can do that creme fraiche, chives, anything you fancy in there. So good. Thank so you so yeah. much. That was amazing. Six minutes, Bosh. Uh, now <laughs> it's time to check in with a loose one.